My name is Duddit, set up builds and stuff. I've got a blinding build today. Perfect for Legend Onslaught. Moth Keeper's Wraps and the Queen Breaker's Bow. Plus, we're going to have some ways to blind things with our fragments. We're going to be featuring weapons, Queen Breaker's Bow, Indebted Kindness Sidearm, which absolutely slaps in GMs, and uh, Legend Onslaught. We're also going to be featuring Midnight Cool with Attrition Orbs, Indebted Kindness with Attrition Orbs, but Queen Breaker's Bow with the Moths. The blinding moths are absolutely insane guys honestly trust me we're going to be able to control spawns from across the map absolutely crazy making it very easy for your teammates we're also going to be featuring like i said weapons with attrition orbs to spam loads of orbs for your teammates stay tuned the first part of the build will be based around the moth keepers wraps your grenade come becomes a cage of loyal moths that release on impact and fly towards the nearest target or ally if they reach a target, they detonate a blinding explosion, which that can basically blind multiple targets. And if they don't hit a target, it'll reach an ally, and then moths grant your ally or yourself a void herb shield. You get two of these, so this is what I do, just a quick little brief explanation. You'll see I lobbed my moth at the back and it's tracked that target at the back and that's blinded him, and it blinds him for a long period of time up to 10 seconds and you get two of these don't forget so you can just literally throw them they will track and they will blind things really really strong and obviously they can also give you you and your same teammates a overshield but we could add a bit more to that with some arc fragments and aspects flow state defeating a jolly target makes you amplified while you are amplified your dodge recharges more quickly you are more resilient Lethal current, after dodging your next melee attack has increased lunge range, it jolts the target, damaging any jolted target with a melee also blinds them. But the fragment, spark of shock and spark of beacons, your arc grenades jolt targets. It does actually make your moth, your, uh, moth grenades jolt. And then spark of beacons, while you're amplified, your arc weapon final blows create a blinding explosion. Like so, you'll see, just doing a few taps with the indebted kindness. That is also going to do a massive radius for blinding enemies as well. Attrition Orbs in Dead Kindness is really, really good for this. It's obviously an arc weapon that will work really good with the fragments. Attrition Orbs is just a really nice little added bonus because that's going to give you loads of orbs as well for you and your teammates. But more blinding, this is what the build is about. Just them little blinding explosions like so. Plus Attrition Orbs in the background working away. I also like to run a Midnight Cool with Attrition Orbs. Uh, I did a video on this recently. This just creates orbs for days with the pet connected tremors and Attrition Orbs. But it's Indomitability is the origin trait. That's really good because whenever you're on a light subclass, you get kills. It's going to give you little bits of grenade energy back. So this just adds to the build just for that extra bit of grenade recharge rate. Plus again, that and even Dead Kindness with Attrition Orbs causing that blinding explosion really really good two weapons with attrition orbs so you've got loads and loads of orbs for you and your teammates so moth keepers and the fragments blinding this is where the queen breakers bow also fits into the build fires a long range precision arc bolt that chains to nearby targets and blinds them on hit so it will blind the target you hit and it will also blind the area of effect just look at that i've just shot them that one target there and look at the state of these they are completely blind You've also obviously got your Moth Keeper's Wraps, your Blinding Grenades, plus your Arc Fragments with Indebted Kindness to proc the Arc Explosion. And just on your own, this is what you can sort of do. You can literally control eight or nine mages in one sort of couple of hits with your Grenade, your Queen Breakers, and your Indebted Kindness. You can literally just control spawns from anywhere, whether it's up close or across the map. Absolutely insane really really good i've run this twice we managed to do this twice last night on legend all the way up to wave 50 full completions this build is an absolute monster and it's really supportive for your teammates as well you'll see there at the back right from across the map they are just stood there they are doing nothing they can't do anything at all they're just literally stunned at the back blinded and jolted which the jolt obviously i haven't really touched on too much but the jolted effect is obviously excellent for ad clearing as well there's a couple of ways you could build into this. You could have a build into your arc weapon damage or grenade recharge rate. I chose grenade recharge rate. So grenade kickstart whenever your grenade energy is fully expended. Your armor charge is consumed. You gain additional grenade energy for each armor charge used. I also run innovation. Reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. 
So uh, this is why I run the attrition orbs uh, plus some kinetic siphons as well because you're going to get loads of orbs. Again, I know I keep saying this, but indebted kindness with attrition orbs, midnight cool with attrition orbs. You can create loads of orbs so you can get loads and loads of grenade energy back plus loads of orbs for you and your teammates. So you can literally just blind your enemies like so, use your indebted kindness or your midnight coup. Plus, don't forget attrition orbs all stack with like arc weapons, uh, uh, sorry, arc and kinetic weapon uh, siphons as well. So you can literally just orb print as well with this build, which is just a really nice added bonus. But that obviously works good for your innovation on your legs. And again, just like so, you've got a couple of enemies pushing you and you can just lob a few uh, moths at them blind them you've got your indebted kindness going to blind as well and then you've got your queen breaker for targets that are a bit further away and you can literally just spam blindness everywhere and it completely slows the game down which is obviously really handy for later on on these legends when you get to wave 40 plus you do get quite a lot of mages that push and it's absolutely crazy and the gathering storm super as we know is an absolute monster and it's perfect for legend onslaught as well that gathering storm super really really does clear out some big enemies and groups of enemies too but again that queen breakers bow i just wanted to sort of show that off a little bit the whole build is all about blinding we've got three or four different ways of blinding guys and i urge you to try this even in gms i even tried it in a gm and it's an absolute monster if you enjoyed the videos so far, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'm just going to go over my fragments and aspects just to sort of nail them. Flow state, lethal current, we've touched on them ones already. I use flashbang grenade because it's got the coolest, uh, sorry, the shortage cooldown, 131. With regards to your melee, you can run combination blow or disorientating blow, whichever one you want to run. Now fragments... Uh, we've already touched on a couple of these, but I will explain why I use them. Uh, Spark of Shock, your art grenades jolt targets. That works with your Moth Keeper's grenade, so you can jolt and blind at the same time. Spark of Resistance, while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Really good fragment to run for Legend Onslaught. Spark of Beacons, while you're amplified, your arc special weapons blows create a blinding explosion. That with the indebted kindness is crazy. Spark of Recharge, while critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly absolutely great fragment mods class item reaper every time you use your class ability your next weapon kill spawns an orb of power paired up with the attrition orbs just orbs forever bomber i like to run two of these reduces your grenade cooldown whenever you use your class ability uh, just pop over to the legs now the legs uh, uh, this one's a really obvious one harmonic scavenger your arc weapons get bonus reserves and then again we've touched on these innovation when it uh, reduces your grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power and as you've seen we get loads of orbs of power with this build as well so infinite grenades uh, chest piece concussive dampener reduces incoming area effect two void uh, void resistance and a solar resistance but you can double them up change them up whatever you're doing at the time moth keepers wraps gauntlets grenade kickstart again we've touched on this but uh, whenever you use your uh, grenades you're going to get big chunks of grenade energy back and then Causing damage with a powered melee attack also reduces your grenade cooldown. Deep Explorer Mask, the helmet, I like to run Harmonic Siphon. Rapid Arc Final Blows create an orb of power. Indebted Kindness and that is crazy. And then I also like to run Kinetic Siphon. Again, Midnight Cool with Attrition Orbs. They all stack together, loads of orbs. And then you can either run a Special Ammo Finder or a Heavy Ammo Finder. Whatever you think is best for whatever you're doing at the time. So that wraps up the video. No pun intended. Wraps up. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know what you think. I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.